When's your latest potential now for the on-air date? So when, when are you thinking of getting this place up and running? Well, I want it up and running as soon as possible. There's no rush to get out of Summerland. We've mm. been told we're welcome there as long as it takes us. That's lucky, isn't it, as well? Yeah. So there's any boulders falling But down. we are paying for this building. I want it operational. And, you know... You can gather I'm. This is a video diary, and I'm very, very annoyed about the situation with the desk. We were let down about the transmitter, that was ordered in July and turned up in February. You know, I mean, it's not good. That was another eight-week order period. And you, you lash them as well, don't you, on the phone? I bet. Um, you get fed up in the end. You just ring up and you just say to them, uh, you just get sarcastic. You say, uh, you know. Does this thing exist? Are we ever going to see it? You know, and then when the thing did get here, we put it on air, and it went pop and took us off air at peak time, drive time. Um, Not in drive time. During your show, Paul. Jesus, sorry. Wow. These are all the things that go on behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know. Mm. I mean, the and the power cut. I mean, that was another. Do you remember the power cut? Yeah. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. You know. <laughs> in darkness at Sunland. We're off air. I mean, that, I mean, half the island was off. In fairness, but I mean, it was. You got up. You got up to the transmitter side and got us. Something going on in the end, didn't you? Mm. Yeah, we, we actually played a CD in from the transmitter. Yeah. Fired it straight in down the line. And no one knew any different. No. In fact, they said that was one of the better drive times. They did indeed. So, right. there you go. We're done now. We're done. Cut. Cut. The That's wires, good. by the way, are temporary just to give us some music in here while we work. The actual wires are going to go above the ceiling. Oh. We're all day mucking around, putting those brackets up. You, only at the venue. I don't think they can complain about this volume. No, no one's disturbed because someone's quite bizarre. Isn't it? I first started there and they started saying, Turn down. Well, we were down. thinking of getting that old security guy back just so we could feel we were still there. So yeah. he could come in and tell us off every five minutes. Because energy at some has been on one speaker, less speaker for now for some months, hasn't no, it? No, it's the amplifier. I know, less speaker in the studio. Yeah, only if you give it a bit more volume and it comes back, back in. I can't get back at all now. Uh, you've got to have the knack. Yeah, but then they go, Turn down, can't go in. Yeah, exactly. So, can't wait to see you. Oh, it's a chug! Chug, 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 chug! At ShopRite, we've got lots of Easter chugs. Oh, and the Easter bunny, by the way. You can tell me. Easter goodies and gifts at ShopRite. There's Easter eggs galore and big ones, little ones, waitress ones, and many more unbeatable offers. Plus, there's delicious chocolate bunnies and luxurious Belgian chocolates. Does it work? Sumptuous Easter cakes and fresh, tasty, hot crust buns. Well, don't listen Does to me. Does it work? You about all these Easter goodies and gifts. Pop down to ShopRite. ShopRite, the chocolate. Maybe I already rumble? Your yeah. Oh, we're going to get the keyboard, right? Oh, we're going to get the keyboard, Oh, another disaster. Um, we got everything powered up in here yesterday. And then there's that. Sounds like a hoover in the corner. Amplifier with a bloody great big fan in it. No way. Listen to it. Yeah. It's terrible. So what we do? Well, it's coming out. We're going to get another one. You didn't pay for them. We have paid. It's a gym. Almost a, a year, is it, for you? It's just a year and one week, Paul, and sales are just snowboarding all the time. We've increased sales by an incredible 1,050% V last year. What was it like when June first approached you to take this job? I was apprehensive, but I saw a challenge. I knew the station would be a great success. And we've gone from being, as you know, the weekend station to 24-7. And clients are coming on board every day, new clients, they're ringing us now instead of us pursuing them all the time. Excellent, very, very, very pleased. In fact, it's slightly bizarre that the, the logs are almost getting too full at the minute, which is nice. Oh, thing. some of the jocks, you, you want to hear them, Paul? Oh, there's too many ads in this break and blah, 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 you know. I thought, I'm sorry, but that's business, you know, and that keeps your wages going. But so we're very pleased, very pleased. And we're filling slots up now on our daily shows, uh, the mid-morning show, of course, yeah. that's being uh, filled now with, with advertisers, so we're very pleased. You're sort of the strange position that you fly into the Isle of Man, do your work, and fly back each weekend. Yes, um, foot in both camps, I suppose. What I will do probably is relocate back over here uh, in the near future um, because uh, it's going to be so busy. And it's, you know, we've got somebody else on board now, Olivia, to join the team, uh, taking a bit of pressure off me, but uh, doing extremely well. Extremely well. We're very, very pleased. So it's going to be nice that you. Because of, you know, you're starting by working in June's office in, the, uh, in his house and this little box room. Well, we started in it. I couldn't believe it. He said, come to the office. I said, where's the office? He said, here. This tiny box room, Paul, and 
the equipment was in there, I had a, a, we had, there were three chairs in there and a desk. Most of my work then in the car because I just couldn't, there was nowhere to work. And then now of course we've got these brand new offices in Douglas. Um, extremely, extremely well. So here you are, you've got the big desk, got the big chair. I've got the big chair and the big responsibility. Because yeah. if sales fall by the wayside, it comes back onto me. Soon the station will be on air in here. Mm. And that'll make the dialogue seem different again, won't it? It will indeed, yeah. all one place. It will indeed. I think It'll work very well. We can bring clients in then to, to look at the station and, uh, and have a nice chat with them, have a coffee and just talk some, some good business, hopefully. Finally, where do you think the station will be this time next year? I will think we'll be a force to reckon with. Um, it'll just go from strength to strength, Paul. We'll need more ad breaks. <laughs> yeah. so this is the... What was it like all those years ago, looking back on it? I know. I'll be an old man looking at this tape going, I used to have hair, and people always said I had a face for radio. I just ignore them. Comedy genius. Hoover's been round. Have you been hoovering? No, I haven't been hoovering. Showbiz. Yeah, but you're now staff, so don't you have to hoover? Um, I have, but I've had an Easter weekend off. I've been taking it easy and just preparing my show. OK, take us through. OK. Because what happens this next week, isn't it? Yeah, this is, this is going to be it. I don't know why I'm leading. Well, we've done June to hell, so, you know. June's behind you. Yeah. Right. The new studio. Next Tuesday morning, I'm going to be here. <laughs> on the wonky chair. No, that's Dave's chair. Is this Dave's chair? <laughs> and I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to put these on. I'll need to turn this off so I can actually hear. And I'm going to push this up and press on. Everybody's and you have a microphone? Yeah, I, yeah. I hope so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We need a mic. Actually, I, I'm actually going to have to hold it, I think. <laughs> Morning, <phone>. everybody. <laughs> It'll be something Sorry. like that. And you got a view, love a view. Can I just say, yeah. they've uh, been, all been moaning about the volume in the headphones in the old place, so if you like to just put them back I know, because blood came out of my ears last time I put them on. That's very Health dangerous. And safety. Health and safety. Yes. And you've got that on tape yes. as well, if yeah. I want to make a claim ah, in a few well. years' time. <laughs> hey! <laughs> So yeah, so it's, Jace, it's uh, looking good. Just turn the oh. mic on. Oh. That's not very showbiz. Phones aren't allowed in the studio. <laughs> oh, you, you cancelled it again. Um, I think next we'll be um, here for the move. Now you said it's going to be. It can't all be like just overnight and ready to go, surely? Because we've pre-wired. We've pre-wired everything, as you can see in the machine there. Yeah. We've not bought another set of machinery. Um, for the studio because that machinery is all brand new anyway. All the Denon CD players, they've only, we've only had them a month or so. So we're going to put them in. So we've wired it already, we've set all the levels up, they will literally just plug in and go. So that's, that's the idea, basically. So from midnight on Monday night to 7am Tuesday morning? Yeah. Basically we're going to run the computer from the transmitter, we're going to telecom, we're going to pull the lines, we're then going to equalise those lines so that the signal's flat, but we think we've got to build in time for that. We've got to make sure that we can do that properly, because those lines are going to carry our entire output, so they have to be, they have to be right. And then, uh, hopefully, if we can get it all wrapped up in a couple of hours, which I'm pretty confident we can, we can at least get a bit of sleep. Although me and Dave will probably be here panicking all night anyway, but at least, <laughs> at least Mr Crink can go and get his head down for an hour or so. Good. And then seven o'clock, it all happens. <laughs>